groundbreaking, the Clintons were just caught paying for it. There's no hiding it anymore. It seems that every talking head in the nation has become increasingly disturbed about some of the less than complimentary comments that President Trump made about the third world country of Haiti. Their outrage seems to hinge upon the fact that he made disparaging remarks about the condition of the country when everyone knows that today's PC culture requires that we never speak the truth even if it hurts not to. In true liberal fashion, no one is worried about the state of the country itself. The leftists are mad that President Trump commented that they considered offensive, even though his comment was based on fact and something that many Americans probably agreed fault with. The facts of the matter might be in President Trump's favor, but since it's not politically correct, the mainstream media and leftists bashed him for it. Ironically, the same country that President Trump called an unflattering name is the same one that the Clinton Foundation was supposed to be helping with earmarked funds. Unfortunately, the Clinton family had a significant expense come up around the same time, and they allegedly used those funds for their benefit instead. The big event was the marriage of former first daughter Chelsea Clinton to her hedge fund manager husband. The reports began swirling about whether the Clinton family somehow spent Haiti relief money on Chelsea's wedding. The accusations unraveled Bill Clinton, so he just had to speak up and defend the untarnished reputation of the Clinton Foundation. Fox News covered Bill's violent reaction to these allegations. Former President Bill Clinton said on Twitter Saturday that no Clinton Foundation funds were used to pay for his daughter's wedding. After President Trump reportedly made crude remarks about Haiti and other less developed countries, some on the right pointed to alleged mishandling of Haitian earthquake relief funds by the Clinton Foundation. On Twitter, President Clinton slammed the notion that any funds from the foundation, whether earmarked for Haiti or not, were used in association with his daughter Chelsea's wedding to investment banker Mark Mesvinsky. No Clinton Foundation funds, dedicated to Haiti or otherwise, were used to pay for Chelsea's wedding. It's not only untrue, it's a personal insult to me, to Hillary, and to Chelsea and Mark, he said. On Fox and Friends, Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton said the foundation's 2010 earthquake relief project was subjected to Bill's machinations. Fitton said then Secretary Hillary Clinton's State Department outsourced its duties to the Clinton Foundation. Fitton said leaked emails reportedly showed allegations were made by Clinton Foundation official Doug Band that foundation funds may have been misused, and references were made to the Clinton Mesvinsky wedding. In the email, released by WikiLeaks, Band writes to Clinton campaign chairman John Podesta. The investigation into her getting paid for campaigning using foundation resources for her wedding and life for a decade, taxes on money from her parents, he wrote. I hope that you will speak to her and end this once we go down this road, Bent continued. WikiLeaks responded quickly to Clinton's feigned outrage at the thought that they would misuse funds. The following leaked email may shed some light on the potential misuse of funds. This email is courtesy of WikiLeaks and might be very crucial evidence to any possible indictment of a Clinton family member. Bill Clinton didn't feel the need to defend himself against the people who had actual proof against him. The former president has more than one skeleton in his closet that may come tumbling out upon more digging and revealing of evidence. James would probably said it best. The Clintons allegedly stole hard-earned Haiti relief money from the compassionate American people to supposedly use on their daughter's wedding. The money was either kept, funded their daughter's wedding, and acted like it didn't happen. Liberals are cool with that. President Trump saw a picture of that developing country, had the usual emotional response and called it as he saw it. The entire nation is up in arms about it. Liberal logic appears to suggest that if you want to get away with something, then just act offended when you get called on it. It's worked for the Clintons those in need of the safe spaces. Call me crazy, but I think we should be more worried about people stealing and using charitable funds for personal use than President Trump's verbal description of a country that is barely civilized. Lized.